You're watching To The Point. I'm Preeti Chaudhary. Some stories, no matter how juicy as they might be, are still in the realm of speculation. And this is just that. Will the Gandhis fight from Uttar Pradesh? Will it be Priyanka Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi? Will it be Amethi or Rai Bareilly? Well, sources say that at least one of the Gandhis will fight from Uttar Pradesh. Many suggest that there is also pressure on both to be fielded from Rai Bareilly and Amethi. We'll know soon. The CEC of the Congress is tomorrow. Let's take it to our panelists this evening. Joining me, R.P. Singh, National Spokesperson, Bharatiya Janata Party. I have Advocate Mahima Singh, National Spokesperson, Congress. Gansham Tiwari, Spokesperson, Samajwadi Party. Ashutosh, Author, Political Analyst. Sanjay Singh, Consulting Editor, IANS. Uh, Mahima, beginning with you, Mahima Singh. What can we expect? Is it going to be one or both? Where Rai Bareilly or Amethi is concerned or both? Jai Hind, I believe uh, that the CEC is going to be conducted in the next couple of days. And uh, we go, we are an organization that follows the protocols uh, duly. And so once that happens, when the meeting happens and the lists are officially out, uh, I'm sure we'll all get to know. But I think whether it is both or one, or whichever it is, it will be a fight for the justice, for the people, for their issues. And I think the people are ready for a change. They will, uh, they will show that this time around. All right, ready for a change and they will show that. R.P. Singh, does that worry the BJP? You have both the Gandhis, uh, Priyanka Gandhi, who's never made her electoral debut coming in this time, um, at least speculation-wise, if it is Rai Bareilly and if it is going to be Rahul Gandhi from a meeting. Well, Rahul Gandhi lost last time and he contested from another seat also, uh, Vainar, all the way from south. And uh, we know why he contested. He knew that he is losing the seat. And uh, Smriti Rani has done a lot of groundwork uh, in Amethi and, and she is surely going to win it again. And well, you can get Rahul Gandhi again if you want to lose again. But I have serious doubt that Rahul Gandhi will contest. And let Priyanka Water replace uh, Sonia Gandhi ji. We will fight it and we will fight it on ground. And this time we will ensure that Priyanka Water also loses the election. All right. Sanjay Singh, you know, um, to go back, hark back through history and to put it all together, you know, it, for a political reporter, political analyst, this is as juicy as it gets. You have Priyanka Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi contesting from neighboring constituencies of Rai Bareilly and Amethi. Um, if it is a possibility, what does it augur for the Congress? See, uh, of course, it is going to be very exciting for all of us uh, as journalists. People, uh, we, of course, going there, uh, I have really admitted to adjusting constituencies. You go one to one place and move on to another place. Uh, that, of course, is going to be very interesting. Priyanka Gandhi for the first time entering into a electoral fray. And Rahul Gandhi trying to reclaim uh, his uh, lost ground. Uh, having said that, if Rahul Gandhi is announced as candidate from Amethi tomorrow, uh, to my opinion, it would have been better when Rahul Gandhi had gone to Amethi if he had announced or somebody else on his behalf had announced. Because practically it is Rahul Gandhi's decision as to where he can, there are ways to say that whether the, if, uh, the, it is prerogative of the party. But there are ways to say, say and indicate that he is going to be a candidate. And if he had stayed, kind of spent a bit more time than he did in uh, in uh, Amethi, uh, uh, so that situation would have been slightly different. Same applies for Priyan Priyanka Gandhi in rivalry. Why I say so? Because Rahul Gandhi in past five years had not been there. Uh, Sonia Gandhi did not visit rivalry even perhaps once in the last five years. Uh, Priyanka Gandhi had been nurturing these constituencies, but over the year, that aura of Gandhi family that uh, uh, they used to take great deal of pride. I agree with uh, some of the Congress uh, leaders who were saying Gandhi, Parivar, Amethi, Parivar, and so on and so forth. That used to be the case till uh, 2019, uh, but not uh, since then, or perhaps not since 2017. Uh, prior to that, there was this uh, great deal of sense among the electorate, uh, vast section of electorate, that uh, since this is Gandhi's uh, kind of uh, constituency, therefore it has certain degree of uh, value uh, nationally and uh, also abroad. But now people are far more conscious about it. And uh, Rahul Gandhi, uh, then come a come whole lot of other things which Rahul Gandhi said about uh, North India. BJP is a party which knows how to encash on those statements and so on and so forth. 
Also, uh, it's going to be very interesting. It would be even more interesting uh, as to, when we know that who is candidate, BJP's candidate again uh, in Raiburi, because BJP is surely yes, going to be a surprise. That is going to be very, very interesting, perhaps for media persons, one of those mother of all battles in Uttar Pradesh. Well, you're right there. If Priyanka Gandhi's name is announced, we can very well understand who will fight from uh, Rai Bareilly uh, or who could possibly be picked. But, uh, you know, just stay on with me. I want to bring in Ghansham Tiwari into this conversation. Mahima Singh, I know you want to intervene, but I just want to come in uh, and bring uh, uh, Ghansham Tiwari into the debate. You know, Ghansham Tiwari, the fact is you'd know best how long it takes especially in a state like Uttar Pradesh, which has seen the Ram Mandir inauguration. Many would suggest there is a BJP wave blowing in Uttar Pradesh. At this point of time, uh, you know, you have both the Gandhis fighting from Rai Bareilly and Amethi, where one would have expected if they wanted to fight, their team should have been on ground preparing their ground for their leaders to fight. None of that has happened. Last time, around four months before, even in 2019, when Rahul Gandhi lost, his team was on ground trying to prepare uh, an election for Rahul Gandhi. That's not happening. Too late, you think? Good evening, Priti, to you, my co-panelists and the viewers. There are three things that are important. One is that definitely Ram Mandir uh, movement and uh, the temple at, in January felt like, as if BJP is all set to sweep this election. But ever since then, they gave tickets to people like Pawan Singh, Upendra Rawat, people who, will, uh, who instill a sense of fear among every because daughter in India. Because. That's one. Second, that that uh, with the exam leak, the government in Uttar Pradesh and BJP in general has become extremely unpopular, that this is a government that cannot be trusted with the future of youth. In the middle of this, the meeting of PTA Yatra and Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra creates a good momentum for this, uh, this news to come, should it come. People of Amethi, people of Rai Bareilly, and people of Uttar Pradesh are keen to look at good candidates who can speak to the youth about jobs, who can speak to the women about fighting people like Rajbhushan Sharan Singh, Upendra Rawat, Pawan Singh, Ravi Kishan, Nirahua, Manoj Tiwari. This is, this is the candidate pool of BJP. Every woman would shudder to look at this kind of candidate pool. And third, with BJP firing on farmers through drones, putting nails under their feet, uh, uh, farmers losing their eyes, this, this is a BJP that is becoming pop, unpopular day by day, either because okay. of their candidate or because of their, their actions against women, farmers and youth. Ghansham Tiwari, the BJP would say that you're in denial or uh, deluded, but I want to bring in Ashutosh as well into this conversation. And we'll go back to R.P. Singh and Mahima uh, Singh on the, at the back of that. Ashutosh, you know, the fact is, uh, this is possibly what uh, political journalistic dreams are made of, where you'll have uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi from Banaras, you'll have Rahul Gandhi from Amethi, Priyanka Gandhi from Rai Bareilly. But having said that, is it a little too late right now where the push is happening? At least four or five months before an election, the ground should have been laid. Uh, if at all, the leaders were going to look at Rai Bareilly and Amethi. Rahul Gandhi in last five years, one visit to Amethi. Does it all you know, factor in if they are going to fight from these constituencies? Uh, Preeti, I, I, I normally don't subscribe to uh, what, what you have just said. Uh, no disrespect to you or to my fellow panelists. For the simple reason, because election, parliament elections is is normally held uh, by the by the national uh, by the national mood. So in in parliamentary elections, the candidate has a very uh, very very limited role to play. Uh, if I, if I had to say this, then eighty percent it is the party and the national mood, and twenty percent the candidate. But having said that, uh, the VIP candidates and the big candidates. It, they, their presence makes a lot of difference in that particular constituency. And Indian election has been such that the candidates are announced at the last minute and uh, they only get three to four weeks or, four, or five weeks, not more than that. No political party does it. No political party, even Ahmadi party when it started the uh, contesting assembly elections in 2013 and 2015 and 2020, in, in 2015, they, used, they had announced their candidates uh, uh, almost six, seven months back. But then they had their candidate had to cover a lot of ground. So I am not surprised, I'm neither I'm, I'm going to say that since Rahul Gandhi is, is candidate and is still not announced in Amiti and Priyanka Gandhi is still not announced in, in Rai Bareilly, so it is going against them. No, certainly not. In fact, I am I'm putting my neck out and I am saying that if, if Amiti, if, if Rahul Gandhi at all decides to contest, 
Smriti Irani will have a very very tough time. Smriti Smriti Irani, I mean, is not a very popular candidate. Forget about the propaganda and forget about all the narrative which has been set around. The fact of the matter is that she has to uh, have to do a grah pravesh uh, at the end at the at the eve of the election. Where was she? Why she didn't buy a, buy a house earlier in the first year itself or the, the first half month itself, which was so committed to the Amethi? So, Amit, yes, she win, she won uh, Amethi last time. She defeated uh, Rahul Gandhi, but it's not that that every every season is a is 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 is, is good and she's going to win the election. At least I'm not very sure about her victory in Amethi. Even in the Raibareli, Priyanka Priyanka Gandhi have to has to really work hard. It's not that easy for her. Her mother. Commands a different kind of respect, a different kind of dignity. But Priyanka Gandhi, as a as a as a green hot, has to really work hard in in I believe. Well, you know that's the question, and I want to bring in R P Singh uh, back into this conversation because R P Singh, um, the fact is whether you say that it's going to be easy play for the Bharatiya Janata Party to have with what Ashutosh said, V I P candidates, it's whichever way you might look at it. The sheer fact that the Gandhi is coming back. Uh, to Rai Bareilly and Amethi and trying to make a play for it, if it actually happens, does put you in a bit of a spot. You'll have to put it's all in there then, where Amethi and Rai Bareilly is concerned. You'll have to pick your Rai Bareilly candidate very, very sharply. Preeti, uh, let's talk about Amethi first. I mean, who is VIP candidate? VIP candidate is one who visit once in a five year, and then. Lady who has been visiting, Smriti Rani has been visiting the constituency every month, every 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 quarter, and and has been following up uh, with a lot of issues and subjects on ground. So she is not a VIP candidate. She is a, a name which is there now in every mind in every home now. But yes, Rahul Gandhi is still the VIP. Last five years, please check how many times he visited uh, Amity just once. So uh, they only go for uh, election. They win election, and thereafter they don't bother about the constituency. They don't bother. Was going on ground. Yes, there are certain NGOs which work for them. There are certain set of people who work for them, but there are there is no direct connect. I mean, that's, and that's what's happening in the, uh, their party also. The party members are leaving party because they said there is no connect within the party also. And then so is the case with the constituency. Coming to the rivalry, yes, we'll select our right candidate. Uh, let let them let Congress announce the candidate. We'll also announce our candidate, and then uh, it will be a very strong candidate, and which will ensure that uh, the we win rivalry also this time as we won Amity last time. Mahima saying the fact is, you know, constituencies need to be nurtured and not to be picked. And the Gandhis have had the picking of the lot where constituencies uh, are concerned across the country. Amethi, many would say, if Rahul Gandhi wanted to fight here, then maybe he should have made a trip more than once in the last five years. Preeti, before I answer your question, I've been hearing the views and I want to ask a question. Has Bansuri Swaraj nurtured the constituency that she has been fielded from? How much have we seen of Hema Malini, Gautam Gambhir and uh, Sunny Deol in the, on, on the floor of the parliament? Uh, and, and yet their tickets have been repeated. Hema Malini's candidature is going but to Mahima be repeated. Singh, are you comparing a Rahul Gandhi to a Sunny Deol and a Hema I, Malini? No, because no, then no, that's, no, a, no, no, that's not a good one. I'm that's not, not a good road to go on. Go ahead, no, no, no. I said before answering your question, I am uh, uh, in lieu of the views I've heard. I am okay. saying this because I've heard, uh, you know, uh, Honorable Representative of the IANS speak about, uh, you know, uh, about nurturing uh, the constituencies. So I'm just saying that a Dr. Harshvardhan, Minakshi Lekhi have been denied tickets and uh, we see how they have distributed tickets. So BJP should not talk about that. That is number one. Rahul Gandhi ji is out on the road, the very roads that people of this country walk every day to go to the offices, the schools, and fight their daily battles on. He's walking those roads for the past three years, and he's been talking with them, he's been in dialogue with them. Wherever he chooses to contest an election for, from, or wherever he's fielded from, I am very sure that the people of India, people of that constituency are very ready to uh, uh, show that confidence in him. As he once said, Ki mera ghar ek, uh, road pe hai. Mera ghar is desh ke dilo mein hai. Main okay. dilo mein basta hu. And I think that is very right. Priyanka Gandhi ji has been working in uh, Uttar Pradesh. We have seen her bag a victory in Himachal Pradesh. So I think, again, you see the sacrifices 
that uh, both of them but my uh, mother she was in charge uh, you know, the fact the is the fact is we might call her the brahm master but there are no silver bullets there are no magic bullets in politics she was given the charge of uttar pradesh and she performed abysmally at that point of time so that uh, bullet it has already been used and there were various factors behind that for that matter jp nadda uh, ji being you know from himachal pradesh when himachal pradesh was lost okay. i did not see any uh, uh, guns being trained at him so why why should we just put uh, priyanka gandhi ji in that uh, ma'am you've not you know, been watching no 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 lots of uh, lots of questions were asked at jp nadda right here on india today as well on what 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 really went down and where accountability should be fixed but okay but i want to just uh, gandhi, yes i think i think that priyanka gandhi ji has worked on the grassroots in uttar pradesh and she is very ready okay. for raiboreli as raiboreli is ready Ganshan for ganjam tiwari you want to come in ganjam tiwari you want to come in you know there's a fact if you look at it the kind of surveys that are being conducted both across raiboreli and amethi um yes if rahul gandhi does decide to step back into amethi despite of him not visiting it uh, uh, more than once in the last 5 years it's a tough battle for uh, smriti rani not as easy as it uh, had gone down and even 2019 wasn't so easy. easy at all but even for priyanka gandhi the constituency of rai bareilly is not going to be easy well uh, i agree with the point of view that this is not a constituency to constituency election at a place where even before the election even after firing on the farmers even after daily exam leaks even with misogynist uh, dangerous candidates that bjp has put with respect to women of india uh, bjp is saying 400 par not because they believe in their candidates they don't believe in upendra rawat whose videos came out or pawan singh they believe in the narrative that they have set this election is on the narrative and this is this is this narrative is very clear it's a black and white depending on who who is black and who is white on one side is is bjp they threaten the democracy they do, they would not offer anything new to the youth they would not offer anything new to the women of india it will be continuation okay. of same same rhetoric on the other side Uh, the entire india alliance is united uh, that we must give a strong push to employment in india we must speak speak to the the crores of unemployed youth who are burning their degrees many of them committing it suicide the, it is right. shocking but gun shanti wari ultimately it will be a test of whose language the voters understand uh, you know you might speak it but they need to get it uh, i want to uh, and, and fair point uh, sanjay singh bringing you back into this conversation and i'll bring in ashutosh as well whichever way you look at it for a politician the ultimate test of his metal is to fight a lok sabha elections and there have been very big leaders who fought and lost and have gone down to another day to fight and possibly win an election having the gandhis back in uttar pradesh will change the game for the congress a little bit don't you reckon sanjay singh with all that you've said um maybe reenergize the cadre maybe have the voters look at uh, congress in a different way maybe they might lose this time but they could come back to win the next See, Gandhi is coming back to Uttar Pradesh. Gandhis have always been in Uttar Pradesh in Amati and Raiboreli. Last time they won one seat uh, uh, in 2014. They won uh, kind of uh, two seats. 2009, of course, was a different story for Congress. That was perhaps the only different story for the Congress in a long, long time. Uh, uh, I was a bit surprised when Congress uh, spokesperson said, uh, "You don't need to." Uh, I, I'm just uh, giving the sense. or she was saying ki where is the need to nurture a constituency because anybody can get a ticket if you have traveled to amethi and raiboreli you will actually realize what kind of abysmal situation was there in amethi and raiboreli old uh, public sector units that had been set up uh, were practically closed the only kind of shining building that was there in uh, amethi and raiboreli was that of uh, indian institute of foreign trade which was branch of lucknow and then again there was some problem in entire regime of mulayam singh yadav amethi and raiboreli were given a preferential treatment in terms of electricity supply but barring that there is there was practically no other thing to boast of about amethi okay. and raiboreli uh, samajwadi party always supported that uh, the question about uh, vip is not visiting constituency i don't think uh, any vip uh, any constituency is bigger than prime minister constituency prime minister has set a record in visiting to banaras having said that uh, people at this stage even in family you don't take your family members for granted uh, you don't take your constituency when you say that this is my family you don't take them for granted you should visit them you should talk to them uh, okay. uh, 
you got to you know the, the days of picking constituencies are over you have to nurture or you're out uh, mahima singh you want to come in 10 seconds yes this is not what she meant by okay go ahead yeah. mahima singh make yeah, absolutely point. absolutely i never said that you don't need to nurture a constituency i just tried to put things in perspective and but, i but, but mahima singh I that mean, perspective was a little I, skewed because if you're comparing I, you know sunny deol and hema malini no, 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 then just, if you're trying to draw the same uh, parallel with said, uh, rahul just, gandhi okay, that, okay. No, no, and and uh, in the same breath, I said that uh, Priyanka Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi have been working on the ground. They have been on the roads for the okay. people of this country for the issues for the Panch Nyai. I happen to be in Amethi in two thousand nineteen. In fact, let me uh, just say it here that the slogan that uh, people of Amethi and Raibareli, when Priyanka Gandhi goes goes there, they say Priyanka nahi hai, Gandhi hai, dusri Indra Gandhi hai. Nahi, but but Mahima ji, Mahima ji, that that, that was a slogan used very well in twenty nineteen as well, and that's <laughs> no, no, the see, time when Priyanka no, Gandhi no, turned no, around no, asking no. about Smriti Rani, and she said Smriti who, and possibly paid the price of that arrogance. Let's, Let's quickly slim, close the, the margin. Ma the ma margin ma irrelevant. Ma'am, nobody the looks at the margin. margin. Nobody no, looks at the margin. It's about being the giant killer beyond a point, and you know that. All right, closing comments, sir. R.P. Singh, uh, quickly, sir. You wanted to come in, and then I'll cut across to Ashutosh. Well, I have to just add that I mean it's such funny. I mean, I mean the sloganing uh, Priyanka ne yaad, Priyanka Gandhi ne yaad di hai. That sort of sloganing, I mean, that doesn't work anymore. I mean, that used to happen since seventies and eighties. That time is over. People who can, people who can, whom they can okay. relate to, whom they can. Uh, Go ahead, Samik. They are interrupted. I mean, this is bad habit they have adopted from Aam Aadmi Party now. So uh, this uh, is a clear uh, uh, scene that that uh, they. Priti, who is conducting the debate? Sir, 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 please finish. Make your point. So, uh, ma'am, so please, nobody is heckling that, you. Please uh, don't don't uh, accord the same uh, courtesy. I mean, Go ahead, sir. Make your point. So, so th this is a clear disconnect. I mean, and we have seen uh, uh, how Prenka Wadra, Wadra performed in uh, the last assembly election, and they could barely win two seats. Okay. And also, I mean, that time also, ladki lard sakti hoon, and thereafter, that ladki never uh, went to UP uh, uh, for any, 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 any. All right. Any, okay. I just uh, want to bring in Ashutosh finally. Any, Ashutosh, any, you any know, the the the. Um, but. As per what the Congress sources seem to suggest is that they don't want to risk putting both the Gandhis uh, in the you know fray where Lok Sabha elections are concerned, uh, because that's what one is picking up that it could possibly be one. Would you reckon that's a wrong way of thinking that both of them should be fielded irrespective of results? I think that's a that, that's a quite an outdated concept for the simple reason because uh, Congress is down today, and the Congress today, if they, if the top leaders are not. Uh, Bold enough to 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 face uh, uh, to to face candidates to face candidates in Amethi and Raibareli, and they are looking for a safe constituency. Then I think they are in the Congress has no future, and I think I, I'll I'll really welcome if, if Rahul Gandhi decides to contest from from Amethi. It's a you have to face it. You have to boldly you have to face it. Uh, there there's no other option. Uh, if if Rahul Gandhi decides to contest only from the Bayanad and not coming back to the Amethi, that's a that will go against him. In fact. So if the if the Congress has to revive itself in the North India, especially in the UP and Bihar, then they have to they have to take these bold moves. But though see, uh, we we are living in an era where opposition leaders are mocked and mocked and mocked and mocked and mocked ad nauseum. But the fact okay. of the matter is, how many times the Tal Bihari Vajpayee has changed his constituency? I remember 1957 when he was contesting from Mathura and Balrampur, right. he lost to okay. to Raja Mahendra Pratap. I'm running I'm running, Mathura, I'm running out of time. Mathura. Apologies, so R P Singh. I know you wanted to come. <clears throat> All right. Got to I'm going to Ashutoshji. I, I need to I need to cut you short, but I understand uh, you know what the point that you were trying to make. Uh, R P Singh, sorry that we should have come back to you, but that's all the time that we have. But it is a conversation that's going to be continued in days to come. Will Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi fight from Amethi and Rai Bareilly? Will it just be one? Whichever way it is, it makes for a juicy contest, and we're going to keep our eyes on it. A quick break. Stay with us.